Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well today, we're going to talk about Storage Sense, which is a very powerful tool of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And we will talk about how we can use it to enhance the performance of your computer and also free up the space. Because there are many people who are running out of space in their laptop and they cannot install anything, the performance is not good, the system is running slow. So there are so many things which happens when you don't have um, available, I mean, required space in your laptop or computer. So we will know how to remove those junks so that our computer become faster. So, and you don't have to install any third party software. You don't have to buy any application to clean up your computer. So for that, just do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And here in the system, you will find the third, four, five, sixth option will be the storage sense. Storage space, drives, configuration, rules. Now, the moment I click on that, here I will see, I mean, we all will see Windows, wherever your operating system is installed, that will be shown here. So if your OS, your operating system is installed on D drive, you will have Windows D right here. So I have a 240 GB SSD here, and that's why it's showing the whole drive space. Now I have already used 140 GB and there are 100 GB free, which is fine, which is enough to have. But there are, uh, there are so many games and application now these days, it requires a lot of space. And uh, we should not have uh, any unnecessary files or any junk there. So here, the first thing is other. So if I click here, other, I can get uh, these files. So we have no idea what exactly this is. So you don't have to make any changes. The only thing here you need to look for is your apps and features, documents, and temporary files. So you can go to app and features, see which all application is taking uh, too much space from your computer and uh, uh, are you using that application or not? Because if you're not using any application and it taking too much space, then I would recommend you to uninstall it. So you just need to click on this three dots and you can uninstall that application right there. So that's the best part. I'll just click on back here. And here we go. Now we have the documents here. So I can see 12 GB out of 140 GB is used. So I'll click here. This is a very important part because if your computer have no space and if running slow, this there could be a possibility you have uh, unwanted files which you do not actually need. So I'll click on view documents and here you will find your folder of documents and from here you can see which all file, you can go to your folders and see do you have any video files there or any unwanted file which you can remove it or at least you can move those files to any other drive. So let's say if you have an external hard drive, you can move those files to your external drive so that you can have space in your laptop or the desktop. So I'll go back here and now the temporary files, it is 134 almost like 2.85 GB and I have just cleaned up my computer two to three days back So in in your case you might have uh, more than 20 30 or 40 GB of junk sitting there in the computer and Making the computer slow so you can get rid of these junks the temporary files and you can make your computer faster Now don't the moment when I click on that I can see I have a uh, Windows update cleanup I have some downloads which I do not need it because I can check it from here if I'll open the file explorer and from here I can see there are so many files so what I can do is you can click here remove files whichever you think you need you can uncheck that so once you click on refresh it will refresh everything and you can click on remove files so this is a very good thing about storage sense and uh, this is a part of storage sense i'll let you know what exactly it is now just below that storage management now storage uh, sense automatically free up space delete temporary files 
and manage locally available cloud content. Please make sure that it is turned on. It is a good practice. You should turn it on and it will um, pre periodically, whatever the frequency you will set, it will run that storage sense and clean up your computer for you. So I can see the last run, it was on 8th of August, like four or five days back, and I am running it every week. So it automatically does. So you can also run the storage sense now if you want to, if you haven't uh, cleaned up your computer. And uh, I'll just click on back. And here I also get the cleanup recommendation. So you can click on that. And from here, you can see your downloads, temporary, uh, readily uh, Windows installation files. And there is one more thing which is very important, large or unused files. This is an option if I click on that. Now, whatever the file I have in my computer, if it's unused and it is very large in size, you can see right here. So you don't have to look uh, here and there for those big files. You can come here, you can see which all files are there, which is important for you and which is not. So you can also do that. And here we go, we have this unused app file sync to cloud, you can select that. And you, if you have unused app, you can see which all apps you haven't used for a long time and you can uninstall it if you wish to. So I'll just go back and here we have this advanced storage settings, backup option, storage spaces and other disk volumes. So from here, storage used on other devices you can see which all storage so you can basically play around with it just check which all things is important for you and here you have got the backup options you can click on backup options you can put your uh, external hard drive and you can select your preferences here and you can also back up your apps and preferences so there is a um, you know tutorial in that as well so you can do that and you can always I mean the manual thing is also good you can open your file explorer and at the left hand side you have all the quick access and from this PC you can go to downloads you can go to documents music pictures videos so you can go manually as well and see which all files are there and which uh, application or file you want to move it to any other drive or external hard drive to free up space. Now, once you run the storage sense and clean up all of the junk, overall the performance of your computer will be good also because you have uninstalled those unwanted applications and now your computer will have space so that it can use all the devices and the resources of your computer to give you a good performance while working or while gaming. So I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. If this tutorial is helpful, please hit the like and subscribe and also leave a comment that if you how much space you have freed up and is your computer better now and if you have any issues, you can let me know. I'll try my best to fix your problem. Uh, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.